Thanks to UgenNet services, Wargame European Escalation offers a full-fledged multiplayer experience. In Wargame, players get their own profile page so they can keep track of their progress in solo campaign, their performance in multiplayer, and the achievements they unlock. The player's level is an indication of their overall experience and knowledge of the game. UgenNet makes interactions between players easy. Form a friend network and keep in touch with your sparring partners. Invite them to join a conversation, a match, or create together a team and battle other players' clans. With a wide range of huge maps, up to 150 square kilometers, multiplayer battlefields in Wargame can welcome up to eight players simultaneously. From one to one to four against four, all setups are possible, and a skilled lone wolf will be able to challenge four players at a time. Casual users will enjoy friendly matches, while players looking for a challenge will get a kick out of the competitive mode. Built around a widely accepted ELO rating system, Wargame's competitive modes pits players of similar levels against each other in ranked matches. Competitive players will evolve within the different leagues and climb their way up the official worldwide rankings. One of the most unique features of Wargame's online play is the creation of army decks. Featuring a staggering choice of over 360 different units, players can build their own armies by unlocking units and adding the ones they want to use to their deck. This allows them to freely customize their army according to their preferences. In-game, players will be able to select and place on the battlefield any unit they have added to their current deck by spending the command points allocated to each player at the start of the game. This will constitute the vanguard of your forces, which will fight into battles to come. Thanks to special units called command units, players can capture the command zones spread around the battlefield. Whoever controls these zones receives new command points, allowing them to call for reinforcements to replace lost units reinforce their squadron or make up for their army's weaknesses. In the end, a sharp sense of tactics and good communication between team members is what will allow you to crush your opponent's armies. War begins February 2012.